Two of the key stakeholders of the industry are with me, Baman Irani and Kushru Jijna. And from them, I just want to know what are some of the key essential things that the industry needs to do to get ready for the future. Baman Irani, I, let I, me start with you first. I, well, thank you. <laughs> I heard this passionate, fabulous conversation at the podium there, at dais there. And you were, of course, asking all the questions. But let me start with you. What was the takeaway from uh, Mr. Jijna's conversation for you? the real estate sector which is battling the heat at the moment. I think uh, three or four things that he said were very relevant. One is to keep your nose above the water and you know keep moving ahead with the fact, knowledge of the fact that things are going to get better in 2019 end or 2020 and it's going to get much better because we have an absolutely unregulated industry that's suddenly gone to the throes of regulation. So change is always going to hurt you for some time but at the end of it when you get it right it's the perfect conducive en environment for growth to take place. And um, you know, the other thing that I think uh, we, we took away was innovation and customer uh, recognition or customer care. The old ways of doing business where you just got your land or got your approvals or whatever are out. Today you've got to have end-to-end -end, uh, service provision for the consumers. You've got to kind of give them all the facilities that are possible and treat them as repeat customers. You know, every customer is a word of mouth for somebody else's uh, uh, apartment purchase. And of course, uh, the end is this, is this is a game where you've got to watch your finances very, very carefully. Transparency and trust is a very, very big uh, factor that, that would be uh, helping you to kind of grow your business. So if you, if you keep an eye on these things and you kind of want to focus for the long term, I think we're in the right space. Talking about problems and innovation, I think a very important statement you made and uh, we are guilty of it is that we look at numbers and we say there's so much inventory, 4 lakh unsold units, demand is really slow and you made a very pointed uh, comment saying that you know media says there's no demand but there is demand and I agree there are some developers who are selling but explain it to us on why we should get over this big question mark when at one side or on one side developers are saying sales are slow. So you are absolutely right so what I meant was that both of us are right you are also right as press and we are also right so let me explain what I meant uh, on the stage. So today, uh, the way we look at it being the insiders, being the largest funders in India, is that we, have s we are clearly seeing the segregation between the men and the boys. We are clearly seeing that because we are deep into it. But you guys will definitely not see it because the people who are the men who are, who are doing better are, are in the minority. Also, what's also happening, I spoke about distressed developers, right? I said that we actually try to get the distressed developer married to a good developer. But the truth is also uh, there that today there are so many projects which are stuck halfway, which I, I'm not sure whether even the good developer is ready to take that project. So to that extent, you guys are right. When you see around you, you say, okay, where, is, where, is, where are the sales? What's happening? Why is Kushru saying there are sales? So both are right in that way. Okay. I do believe, so it's a very important point you have raised, Manisha. I do believe that that is one big negative for the industry, that perception to change. Because while the developers like Rustamji, etc., will start doing better, they're already doing now well, uh, but from the, from the layman's perspective, we, can, we will continue to see this half-built buildings. It's going to take a, ro a long time. And that's in fact my only worry that what's going to happen to those projects. Unless of course the markets bounce back in the future. We talk about perception and I think more than the consumer, that confidence will come back. Baman and Kushu, both of you need, you know, I might be wrong but even in the government or at RBI or in the banking sector, the perception is missing. Why is it? So, you know, uh, Manisha, even I had this perception and I, had, I was fortunate to meet somebody very senior in Reserve Bank of India recently and I asked him this question that, sir, when, you know, I'm not from the lending industry, I'm from real estate and I believe this is the best asset class, otherwise you're funding a factory. What, what happens in a default? Here at least you have land, you have real assets. So why are you against the banks? So this is the wrong perception we all have. He answered me correctly. He said that, you know, it's not that we are against. We do believe that it's the best asset class. But then it's for you guys who understand the space. And as I said, you have to make your uh, term loans or, or your entire funding uh, formula or whatever based on each project. He said the banks are not equipped. They are the tick in the box guys. So, so I am not encouraging the banks to uh, lend to real estate because they are the trick in the box. But obviously you guys will do well and I know that you will do well. Let's talk about the consolidation in the industry, Pavan. So there are lots of developers who are stuck for last mile funding and probably need those innovative financing solutions as Piramal offers. 
uh, yet there are a lot of developers or one wannabe developers who should not be in the business we've been talking about consolidation but do you see it happening in a meaningful and a big way so it's in its infancy uh, having said that a lot of consolidation is taking place thanks sometimes to the financial institutions themselves stepping in and you know being playing a proactive role to kind of educate the developer that it's better to use your synergies right and we all know that you can use one and one to only add up to two and probably then you can you know multiply two and two to make it four rather than just uh, that's a wrong example but three and three could become nine with three plus three so the point is use your synergies to kind of grow the industry and take care of the demand that there is i see this uh, you know taking place or rather changing in a big way in the next two years and i see a lot more including um, uh, cross city uh, you know uh, developers consolidating because let's say i want a presence or a footprint in in in, in the ncr market it's already it's, happening yes it is only now that the government understands that it doesn't really know everything about real estate okay they've been do they accept that now well they have started accepting it okay. they will not say it on our faces but they invite us before they kind of take any major decision so they invite credai as a body they ask us to come and give our comments they kind of interact with us they take our papers they actually sit and try and understand and you know what it's a great process i'm not saying tomorrow morning everything's going to be great but just the very fact that you accept that there's an industry body which can give you the facts and can give you data or interpret the data a little differently than where you are you're at least in a position to be able to make that choice and i think uh, that's a that's a great move 2020 i mean do you feel hopeful it's going to be the worst will be over in the next one year and we will see you know i think everyone's benchmarking kushru to the 2005 to 2008 period and everyone wants that kind of excitement in terms of demand to come back especially for residential offices on a good uh, on a good footing uh, do you think it's likely looking at the pent up demand that we have in the economy I, as i said demand is always there it is just that people are sitting on the fence because they didn't know where to put their money with whom to put their money the actual buyers yeah. not the investors correct and again i would say that even if say 220 2020 things come back it's already started of course we are hoping that we have a stable government and you know things will actually revive it will far more than uh, even now but it will go i would go back to my statement that it will be happening for those few developers who have now moved from the traditional industry of doing business to an fmcg type of business thank you gentlemen for speaking with cnbc tv 18 it's a pleasure to know that you're both hopeful and things are going to revive because we do need real estate especially residential which is 80% of the market to roll back into action let's say